Hi, it's Mark Rushton of markrushton.com. It is Thanksgiving, Thursday, November 26, 2020. And uh, I might do two videos today. I might just do one. See if I can jam everything into it here. <laughs> uh, I, I try to use a different set of headphones because I, I do notice that sometimes the audio isn't that good on here. It, sometimes it's good. It depends on where I, I, I sit and move and everything. And these are little uh, MPOW headphones with the mic. They're pretty cheap, but they're very comfortable. They're very comfortable. And uh, But I'm thinking about maybe getting something a little nicer, maybe one of those um, USB microphones with the boom that you attach to your desk and that you have like right here, and maybe I don't have to use the headphones then, unless I'm doing like an interview or something like that, in which case I can use the audio I'm going to be using the audio, and so I just I just have a separate microphone that I talk into, and I just have to be aware of proximity and all that sort of stuff. I, that, I'm thinking about doing that, thinking about doing that, because then yeah, I don't have to mess with with all that sort of stuff. Well, I tried a different set of headphones that I have. Uh, I think I got it through work or something like that. It's called a. Uh, it's called a. Jabra, and man, these things smell bad look at this nasty 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 plastic oh just gonna, hold on here it's over there I'm never gonna use them and then it came with this free concentration music which I looked that up and I was no yeah you're gonna listen to concentration music on a on a headset with one earbud but it, it's it's only got one or no it's got one and then the microphone you're gonna listen to music on your your one ear Jabra headset, why, why only put one? Why can't you put two? Why does it only have one? Why are you so cheap? There's not that many one eared people out there. I know you have some artists, you know, Van Gogh in one ear. That was, that was his problem. So anyway, I tried to I tried to do a test on that, and that did not work. Garbage here. Throw that away. And, uh, ah, yeah, beautiful day, finally. Gosh, two or three days of rain and crap. I'm feeling good. You know, I got uh, I got the flu shot. Uh, was it Monday I got the flu shot? Maybe it was Tuesday. I can't remember when I got the flu shot. That's a, that's a side effect of the flu shot. And uh, uh, let's see, was it yesterday? Was it yesterday? Yesterday was Wednesday, Tuesday. Maybe it was Monday I got the flu shot. Anyway. Uh, been feeling pretty good. The arm was a little sore the first night, and and then the next day I felt kind of normal, and I've been feeling pretty good since then. But sometimes the flu shot, people react to it different ways or whatever. Sometimes I'm a little tired for a day or so, and then, then I'm good. I'm good. But I've had like 15 years. I've, I've been getting those for about 15 years, and I don't know. Some people don't need them, and... Yeah, it, it has helped me just because I used to get really, really sick during the winter. And I would never really be able to climb out of it until, you know, in the springtime. I don't know, for whatever reason. I get, now I get the flu shot, I, you know, if I, it's a little dip and then I'm back within, you know, 24, 12, 24 hours. So you got to do everything that you can, you know. I take a lot of supplements. You know, I think I've talked about this before. I take uh, I take vitamin D3 every day. I take magnesium. I take um, uh, krill oil. I take vitamin E. I've been taking vitamin E for nearly 30 years. Uh, what else? I'm going to start taking boron. I read. I just read about boron recently. I don't have arthritis or anything like that, but just uh, uh, a boron supplement. I'm going to I'm going to start taking one of those. For bone health and all that, so you get older, you know, you know, can't we can't run anymore? Uh, just my feet are, the muscles in my feet are just terrible, just terrible, and uh, can't swim because all the pools are closed because you know that's that's where the uh, you know what is. <laughs> it's gonna be chlorine, that'll kill it, right? No, 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 I can't can't open the pool, can't open the pool. Okay. All right, no co-ed swimming. Oh my God, I, stop. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, so I, I concentrate on uh, exercise in the yard, yard work, 
things like that. I rode the bike for a while, but uh, yeah, it's, it's too cold and it gets dark real early. And that's uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start taking bore on here soon. Yeah, I'm one of those, one of those people. <laughs> I always used to laugh about that, you know, when I was younger. Oh, I get all the supplements, and now I'm like, ah, right, give me all the supplements! Yay! I feel good. I knew that I would. <laughs> So what I did, what did we do this morning? Ann and I went out for a drive this morning to some place we had never been around here, which is kind of amazing because we've lived around here for a while uh, in one area or another. I've never been. So she's like, you should, well, she said we should go out to the fjords. And I don't think it was the fjords that we went to. We went out to Scales Bend. And I've never been out to Scales Bend before. Hold on just a second. Red cup. So let me let me show you uh, Scales Bend, where we went. Uh, let me make this a little bit bigger here. We'll get rid of me here. So if we we went through North Liberty, and then instead of going up uh, Highway 965 here, we proceeded to let me get a little closer in here. There's a little light here at the corner of 965 and Scales Bend Road and 240th Street. And you take it up north. Let me get myself in here. And uh, so we do, you go through kind of a suburban area here. And then once you hit this bend up here by Ridgewood Cemetery, it gets kind of, uh, you know, semi-rural. And uh, the cemetery was neat. I'd kind of like to... Uh, Explore that maybe with a little photography. And and then you kind of wind down through here. There's a bunch of uh, newer homes, real nice newer homes. And then a lot of stuff from uh, the hippie era and before, some some love shacks. And there's there was a little farm with like pygmy goats and miniature horses, that sort of thing. Other stuff. I mean, we drove by. It was super fast cute and then we just kept driving and driving and driving up here and we ended up and of course i've not been on cumberland ridge but we kept going through here to scales point camping and we ended up at the the marina here and drove by bobber's grill which i've never been to I don't have a boat. Oh, I'd love to have a boat someday. I just love to burn my money. <laughs> that's, that's all boats are money burners. They just burn money. Uh, you got money to burn. Yeah. It's good to know good to know somebody who has a boat. You don't want to own a boat. But I wouldn't mind owning a boat someday if I had money to burn. I would I would and let me show you. Let me show you what I'd like to own. Now this is a little bit I took some pictures. I didn't take enough pictures though, but but uh, out at the marina there, they had a lot of boat storage, and they had these are a little too big. This would be way too much, something like this. But you've got sort of these pontoonish boats, and they're they're like mobile homes on pontoons, and they get that. Look at that. They're they're absolutely in ours. They had some smaller versions of this that were a little a little more ghetto. They're a little more uh, 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 welcome Twitch users. Yes, I'll say always say hi to the, the live streamers. But um, I, I, you know, I've, I've thought about this in the past. It would be kind of fun in the future to have like it's just a small houseboat and that and be able to put that out on a lake somewhere and go out painting on it for you know five months of the year or whatever. I, mean, I, would, I would go out there probably nearly every day as long as the weather was nice and, uh, you know, have it as a recording studio and uh, a painting studio. That would be that would be kind of way cool. That would be way cool. And I would, you know, I would, I would be the type of guy that I would I would waste even more money on it and put solar panels up there and have, you know, like an electric motor, maybe a battery bank and maybe not even have a maybe not even have a, you know, gasoline powered motor. Just have a very, I don't know, I don't know, can you do that? I've seen that. I've seen that uh, solar-powered pontoons. 
but you know how how do you you know that's a bit of thinking about it but uh, and you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to do it with one of these ginormous boats here but you think about boats right they're out there sitting in the marina usually without without a cover and they're just sitting there they should just be collecting solar energy all day long i mean it makes sense maybe i don't know <laughs> and then yeah i have the have the solar solar panels up there and then have that connected to the grid when you're parked in the marina that'd be kind of interesting that'd be a whole yeah yeah you should have solar boats why not right so yeah what up the scales ben and uh let's see if we can uh the Google, oh my gosh, the Google, the Google car has been up here. So let's take a look. This is kind of more fun uh, way to look at this year. This was 20, October 2015. And, uh, but yeah, you've got some covered, a little bit of covered. That's, of course, that's going to cost extra. And then you've got uncovered. And then over here is the parking. The parking for the uh, for the restaurant, which is right up here. Let's see, how do I get over here? How do I get over to the restaurant? Bobbers. How far can we do, get down the road here? Can get down the road. Let's get down the road. There are a lot of people camping out there. I think they uh, they camp out there for the season. But let's see if we have any anything alongside the road here. Now everybody still had everything in the uh, in the water for the most part. Yeah, and you had uh, at this time. Oh, look at that. It just rained. Okay, so we'll get out of here. But, yeah, I'd never been out there before. So it's nice to explore. And I've been around um, this whole area before. I've been uh, over to Sandy Beach and nearby Camp Iodisica. I've been down in there. I think I've been all the way down in this little thing. Uh, if you go in here... You get Lake McBride Beach. I've been down there. And of course, uh, the Lake McBride camp. Yeah, here's our Lake McBride and Corvo Lake. There's like a little area in there where, where the, you know, if one overflows, it goes into the other. Kind of interesting. The Raptor Center. Raptor Center's in there. And uh, Sugar Bottom. I've been there. Cottage Reserve, I go there often, where the fancy homes are, and the shacks. Like, but I've never been to Scales Bend. Scales Point, Bobber's Grill. So that's, that's the last thing in the area that I've been. I, I know I'm just rambling here, but it's, it's Thanksgiving. And, the, you know, we're not eating until later. So why not ramble, right? So, yeah, yeah, have a boat. Have a boat. Go out on the lake and... Do some painting, do some framing. That'd be your summer studio, right? You can do it. Get money to burn. Sell some paintings, right? <laughs> well, speaking of paintings, I got some more paintings added to my eBay art store last night. These are little 8x10s. Or these are gigantic 8 by 10s I guess it could be either way. And my, my photography has gotten better. Thanks to the ring light. And uh, figuring a few things, a few more things out on that, on that camera. It looks pretty good there. And then I intersperse it with a scan. And then back to the framed image. Back to the scan. I think actually that photo looks better than the scan. No interest.
paid in full in six months. Of course, you can always make an offer as long as it's reasonable. You can always add it to your wish list. And uh, you can always save the seller. If you want to follow me, follow my art store on eBay. I'm only ever going to list in this account. I'm only ever going to list uh, original art. So whenever I add things, you get like a daily digest the next day and find out what I have added to my store. If you save this seller, I don't even know how many, I don't even know if anybody's following that. I don't know if there's any way to, to figure that out, but back out here. Look at some of the others here. Control key. That's neat. Acrylic ink. Very abstract. Very abstract, but obviously a landscape motif. The fields, maybe some distant trees, and a really crazy psychedelic sky there. What else we got? Signal strength, which I think I showed yesterday, but we'll look at it again. Love this one. Love this one. Look at that. It looks, it, you know, it looks kind of like a, uh, you know, that really, really old photography. With the, with the super long, you know, like the eight hour exposure time back in the 1830s or whatever, 1840s. And then it's like, it's been colorized a bit. It has that, it has that sort of, sort of quality, sort of quality. I don't know. That's how I sort of envision it. That is neat. You don't, I haven't seen anything else like that out there. Just saying. And I've done a lot of um, sort of artist reconnaissance uh, galleries and other kinds of art. Yeah, there's a lot of abstract art out there of, of varying quality. Just my Banks. This is the first one I made live. This is a little bit more abstracty than, say, the other ones, which are maybe a little more. This is a little more super abstract. So yeah, I got four. I got four added. Very nice. They're back safely in their little uh, pouches. Uh, and then this morning. After we got back from Scale Spin, I uh, decided to break out the camera and take a bunch of photos because I, I now I figured out how to take some somewhat good photos thanks to my ring light and figure in just constantly working that camera. So let's take a look at those. Wait, this isn't this isn't what I wanted. Oh, I know what I need. <laughs> Let's get rid of this here. I know what I need. Here we go. Actually, so I've got all these paintings here, and then let's, uh, yeah. Here's where we'll start out. So I had to retake some photos because I, I felt that some of the photos of the paintings that I had previously listed on eBay, I wasn't entirely happy with the photography. Because I was like putting them on the wall, I didn't have any extra light, or I used the flash. I'm still learning, my age. So let's let's go through these here. Yeah, it looks better. I tend to, I tend to shoot everything dark, but this, this has got the light on it. No flash autofocus. And of course you get to see the back here with the D rings and the hanging wire. And some of them have the little pads back there. Some, sometimes the pads fall off, even on the little ones, even on the little five by sevens. I do this on all, all my paintings. Ah, oh, that's so good. That's a good one.
moving sky acrylic ink on gesso panel that's how i got i think that's how i got that little uh bubbly effect on there washing curve just come up with the most odd titles that photo isn't so hot but it's very better than when i get out there the last of the trees to change sometimes i'm very literal This one is a combination of acrylic ink on the top, which turned out great. And then I uh, added like a snow effect on the bottom. So that's acrylic paint. A little bit different. A dusting. This was uh, experimenting with the acrylic ink and just laying it out there rather than spreading it out and redu re reduce it, reducting it, uh, reductive technique or anything else, just putting it on there and then kind of letting it soak. Sometimes it moves a little bit if it's, if it's, um, there's a lot of liquid and then it just dries there. Muddy Hilltop. Yeah. Evening Heat. I know this one. Oh, this is so good. Someone's someone's watching this on the on the e, in the eBay store. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. This is so good. Why don't you make more? Like I I don't I don't know where they come from. <laughs> The really, really, really exceptional ones. And I think this this is a really exceptional painting by me. I can't make the same one twice. There's just no way. It's like they come out of the either. This is yeah. This is whoever gets this, whoever buys this one, you're lucky. You're you're special. I mean, look at that. Wow. Don't know how I did it. Evening heat. A little bit different here because I got a black frame. I think it works pretty good. Very, very abstract. Very simple line of horizon. And the, the, is there a little hint of green in there? Yeah, yeah, where you get the where you get the yellow and the blue kind of mix. You get the little green, which is perfect. Your little tree line. I mean, that's what you see out here in Iowa. You see these big fields, particularly in the fall, soybean fields or the corn fields, but the soybean fields for about a week or so, they'll look like this. And you'll have a little, maybe a little trees or a farm or something like that in the distance, some sort of ridge. more That's a good one. black hills is this spring yeah that's a better photo right there and not as good it's a little washed out that's better different in every angle i don't always take the back take a photo of the back for whatever reason It's rend skies. You know, it's like birds up here. Birds that are uh, kettling. Get that in the fall. They group together, usually in preparation for um, flying out to the south, migrating.
friends, guys. Ah, I think this is this is this is driving west. Somebody's watching this. I believe on uh, is this driving west. Yeah, so I think someone's watching this on uh, on eBay. Uh, fantastic. How did I how did I get that going? I don't, I can't remember. It wasn't that long ago. Uh, is this illumination. Oh, that photo is not very good. Some of these are tough, you know. When, when you've got when you've got um, you're photographing art's hard. <laughs> I guess maybe there's something in the camera that I could. Have to do manual focus or something like that. Play around with it. Yeah, illumination. Swamper. Give this a little bit more, a uh, little bit more abstract. And then this one, monochromatic blue. A lake scene. Arctic nighttime. We're about two thirds of the way through. Oh, one of these little ones, five by seven. I think we're getting into things that I'm going to be posting here soon, so bear with me. Oh, that's that's a lousy photo. City glow. Well, we'll deal with it. That's, there we go, that's better. Yeah, some of the photography is not the greatest, but it's not bad, but it's not great. Why is this so blurry? Yeah, I'm gonna have to reshoot some of that. Oh, I know why. These are bigger pieces, and they should be a little further back. That's it. The bigger pieces, yeah, they have to be further back. And these are squares. Let's see it though. They're terrible. They, yeah, they need to be further back. These all have to be reshot. This is excellent. This this one's so good here. Yeah, like there. I was only working in squares for a while. Bad photo. Yeah, the whole bunch here is going to have to be reshot. It's okay, harvest season. They're all going to have to be... Uh, you weren't far enough back. Freeze by. Okay, there we go. So, that, okay. Well, nearly everything that I shot that I had to reshoot for eBay, for e that's already in eBay, those look pretty good. The new stuff, though, yeah, I'll redo that. Probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow, because I have to I have to take everything downstairs to the dining room, and we're gonna be eating in a few hours. And, uh, I'm tired. I just want to play some poker. At one thirty. I need a Dr. Pepper. All right, so we're getting near thirty minutes. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching. If you watch it later on the um, on the replay, uh, get rid of this here. Yeah, well, that's, you know, it's, it's more photos that I've taken. All right, so I don't know, might do something later, might not. It just depends. Uh, heading out. Have a good Thanksgiving. Bye.